Greetings, this is Tim. Welcome back to the channel. This week I am going to show you how I resolved a malfunction on my printer. But I'm going to warn you in advance to, re to use this method required me to preheat the nozzle to 260 degrees with the covers removed and I'm holding the nozzle in a welding glove. This is inherently dangerous. Burns are very easy to get. If you're uncomfortable or if you don't have the proper safety equipment, please contact Anchor Make Support to get a replacement nozzle. But with that in mind, let me show you what happened. So did you catch that? I didn't either the first time. Let me slow it down. So what you're seeing is that the print is letting go of the bed and being dragged around by the nozzle. What you're not seeing is that the printer is continuing to extrude filament and that extruded filament is surrounding the nozzle encasing it in filament until I turned off the printer. These photos are from Savage on the Anchor Make community forum on Discord. Thank you Savage for allowing me to use these. They are great in that they show the encasement of the nozzle from the filament. So how do you resolve this? In the forum on Discord, it was recommended that you preheat the nozzle back up to 260 degrees Celsius and use a tool such as a pick to remove the filament from around the nozzle. And that worked for many people. But in my case, the thermistor connector had become separated. And each time I attempted to preheat, I got a failure to heat error on my printer. I wound up having to use a Dremel in order to get access to the screws that held in the heat sink and the nozzle. And I was able to get the, the assembly out and then repair that connector, put it back in the printer, and preheat it to melt the filament so I could remove it. So I have preheated the nozzle back to 260 degrees Celsius. And I'm using a pick to move the filament down to the nozzle so it can warm back up and I'm just slowly trying to remove the material particularly around the wires so I don't have to use the Dremel and risk damaging the wires. So I've switched to holding the nozzle with a welding glove as I clear the screw holes as I needed to be able to separate the nozzle from the heat sink. While still connected and holding it with the welding glove, I used the Anchor Make provided tool to remove those screws and was able to separate the nozzle from the heat sink. After a quick reassembly and preheat, I was able to check to see if filament would flow through the nozzle. So I decided the first thing I'd try to print was an XYZ calibration cube. And it worked brilliantly. And after a small celebration, I decided to leave off the covers, as you can see, in the idea that if I have another error of this nature, by not having the covers on, it'll be easier to spot and uh, it'll be easier to remove because it will not be forced up and around the nozzle. So how do you prevent this in the future? In my case, you saw that I removed the printer's covers around the nozzles. They appear to be cosmetic in design. I don't see any function except to protect myself from the printer and the printer from external forces. If I have a need, I'll put them back on. But I also learned from the Discord community about a product called Plastic Repellent Paint. It's produced by Slice Engineering and it is $14.99 for a 3cc bottle. This product will crystallize to the nozzle when it is reheated, preventing the nozzle from adhering to the filament and hopefully that will prevent the nozzle from also dragging the print over the print bed as you saw in my failure. I would like to encourage all of you to join the Anchor Make community on Discord. From that community, I'd like to thank Spiggy Tech, Savage, Zelenor, and Let's Get Weird for the assistance in this video. Your input was valuable. Thank you very much. 
regarding the XYZ calibration cube. It's supposed to measure 20 millimeters per axis. And this one that you saw printed measured 20.05 millimeters per axis, which in my experience is very accurate for a printer of this price point. 